Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Today, as we continue with your Euclidean geometry, grade 11's Euclidean geometry, we're looking at theorem 6, it says, opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So, we, before we go far, we want to we need to oh shit no Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Welcome to your grade 11 Euclidean geometry lesson. Today we are looking at theorem 6, which says the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. There are key words here that we need to highlight. The first being a cyclic quad and the second being supplementary. By the way, supplementary, we know that two angles are supplementary if they sum up to 180, all right? So they sum up to 180, all right? They sum up to 180 degrees, all right? And then we will begin with the definition of a cyclic quadrilateral. So without any waste of time, let's get into it before we break down this theorem, okay? Okay, so let's consider a circle. Let's consider a circle. I want to take any circle. I prefer using this one here. Okay, let me enlarge it. Thank you, sir. Okay, so let's now look at this circle. Okay, thank you. Now, when we talk of a cyclic quadrilateral, we're saying that it's a quadrilateral with all four vertices lying on the circumference of a circle. So let's consider something like this. Remember, quadrilateral means you have four sides. Okay, so let's call this one A. Let's call this one B. Let's call this one D, A, B, C, D. Okay, so... A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral with all four vertices lying on the circumference of the circle. Okay, so let me write it down. A cyclic quad is a quad with, with all four vertices. lying on the circumference of the circle okay lying on the circumference of the circle lying on the circumference of the circle okay so therefore a b c d is a cyclic quad okay is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now the points A, B, C and D are concyclic. Okay? Let me not make it look like it's a D. The points A, B, C and D are concyclic. Okay? They are concyclic. So now you have an idea of what is a cyclic quadrilateral okay now you have an idea of what is a cyclic quadrilateral 
so now let us now look at this theorem 6 the statement of this theorem remember this theorem says opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary right so the statement says the opposite angles of a um what is this the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary so it's okay i don't have to repeat it we can leave it like that so it is the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary it's okay so basically this theorem says opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral okay so this theorem should have been opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral and what is written here is basically the statement but it's okay so when you use when you use this theorem the reason that you go into write will be opposite angles of a cyclic quad so you can write it as opposite angles and cyclic quad opposite angles cyclic quad okay let me not Oh, I have a serious problem with my C and L. Opposite angles of a cyclic quad. So this is the reason that you will write whenever um, you quote this theorem. Okay. So what we are required to, <coughs> sorry, what we are required to prove now is we are required to prove that angle ABP plus angle AQP equals 180 degrees right and we are also required to prove that angle qab is equal plus angle qpb is equal to 180 degrees so we might do one because it'll be the same for the other okay so now let's try let's find our proof so let's prove it so our proof so what we're going to say now for us to prove we're going to say um it's an instruction that it'll help us so we should draw a o and o p okay we should draw a o and o p and then we should also label we should also label um um or oh, maybe let's say let and then uh, maybe let me say and then let um angle um, angle aop let angle a o p um let me see yeah let angle aop that's fine so I should have done this. So this is us now. And then we're going to say this is angle AOP. We're going to let it be O1. And then angle um, yeah, AOP, let it be this. Okay. And then uh, um, even here, we're going to let it be O2. So basically AOP in triangle AQP. Okay, so let me expand it. Let angle AOP in triangle AQP in triangle AQP equals angle O1 and let angle AOP in triangle a abp yeah abp in triangle abp yeah in triangle abp b angle o2 okay so this is what we have done in this diagram this is what we have done in this diagram so let me just copy let me just copy this um oh boy before that let me erase this so let me just copy this okay 
So So I'll just copy it and let me see. Okay, I'll just copy it and let me paste it here. Okay, so let me move it. Okay, I'm gonna move it here. Okay, perfect. So now we can see now what we need to do. Okay, so now here's a thing that we're looking at now. So when you look at um, triangle AQP, okay so let me say now in triangle AQP and triangle um, ABP okay let's do this angle O1 is equal to angle O1 is equal to um, let me look at it angle O1 here is it is equal to this angle here so angle O1 is equal to 2 times angle A B P what's your reason angle at center is equal to 2 times angle at circumference right is equal to 2 times angle at circumference now let's look at angle O2 here is angle O2 it will be equal to 2 times this angle here. What is that angle? Angle AQP. Okay. It is equal to 2 times angle AQP. Again, what's the reason? Angle at center equals 2 times angle at circumference. Okay. All right. So, now... One thing you know is that angle O1 plus angle O2, they are equal to 360 degrees. Why, why do we say that? Because they are angles around a point, right? They are angles around a point, right? They are angles around a point. Now, you know we said uh, angle O1 is 2 times angle ABP and we had also said that angle O2 is 2 times angle AQP so what uh, these are all equal to 360 degrees now I see there's a common factor 2 or rather I can divide by 2 throughout what do we have? We have angle ABP, angle ABP plus angle AQP, angle AQP equals 360 divided by 2 is 160 degrees. All right? Let's see which statement was that. ABP plus AQP is equal to 180 degrees so we have proved this right we have proved this so if you want to prove this one instead of instead of your line instead of your line being like this drawing a line maybe AP you will not be drawing a line QP that passes through the center okay you will be drawing a line that passes through the center Q, um, that line will be joining Q, O, B okay when you want to find this one and you will be doing the very same thing okay guys so this is how you solve or you prove this theorem okay this is how you prove this theorem with that being said we are done and see you next time so bye bye